What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Lojo Fishing back at it again today. I have a special guest with me. Hello. You guys already know who that is. That's Mrs. Holly, my lovely, beautiful wife. Last time Holly and I were in a store like this, we were in Dick's Sporting Goods, where I let Holly pick me three random lures, and I had to go out and catch fish on them, which I did. So today we're in Academy Sports, but we're gonna keep it kind of this simple, a little bit different. We're gonna change this challenge up just a little bit. The main difference in today's video is gonna be we're only gonna do clearance style baits. So here we are at the little clearance section. As you can see, there's Holly, there's our clearance rack. It goes all the way around. We have no idea what's on it, but that's one of the most number one recommended things from you guys is to use only clearance or, you know, bargain bin lures. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to let Holly choose three lures. Holly, have we rehearsed this at all? Oh, no. Have not rehearsed it. I don't know what she's going to pick. Once she picks her three, I'm going to have to go out and catch a fish on all three lures. You guys already know the deal. So if you like these kind of challenge videos, you guys already know what to do. If you want to see me do them more, hit the thumbs up button, comment some suggestions down below. Let me know what else, what other kind of challenges you'd like to see me do, whether or not you want me to include Holly in them or do a different store or do a different kind of lure. Just guys, fill that comment section with suggestions. If you're new to this channel, if you're just finding me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's gonna be down here. Hit the little bell notification. That way you'll stay up to date with all the new videos. But let's keep a close eye on Holly and see what kind of lure she's gonna choose. All right, Holly, so we're at the clearance rack. Are you seeing anything that's catching your eye so far? A soft plastic first. A soft plastic first, that makes sense. Got some missile baits, some gambler lures. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far for sure. I really like the colors. You like the colors. One. Missile baits, D bomb. D bomb. Jeez. <laughs> Candy grass, D bomb. It's like Mardi Gras. It's like Mardi Gras. Yeah, that is pretty cool. It's like green, blue, purple, flake. That's very interesting. So, is this going to be one of your choices? Are you still I, looking? I'm debating between these two. And then you got the Florida 5 0. And you got Florida 5 0 cricket. Gambler lures, cricket. Well, yeah. Okay, well, um, I never used that before. I may have used that like once, but I definitely haven't used either one of these very much because I'm not a big creature bait fan. I've never used this. Yeah, I've, ne no, I've never used that for sure. So this is your first selection? First one. Okay, number one. Okay, so the next lure, since we already have some soft plastic, why don't we look for like a hard bait of some kind? But that's the only regulation I'll give you is to try to find a hard bait. It can be any kind of hard bait. Oh my gosh. What yeah. is that? A jumbo shrimp. Voodoo tough as hell jumbo it's shrimp. Well, that's not a hard bait. Come on. Yeah, it just looks cool. It's a saltwater bait anyways. <laughs> we can do that on a different challenge. If you guys want to see a saltwater lure challenge, then we'll do that. But not today, Satan. <laughs> oh my God. Trout nuggets. Oh my goodness. Trout. <laughs> get that out of the way. Trout nuggets? What? Is this a real thing? Are there trout anywhere around here? There's not really a whole lot of hard baits here, but I do see a couple. So, what, do you see any, babe? Yeah, I see one. I've had my eye on this little guy. Uh huh. And I do mean the little guy because he's yeah. very slight. See, that's a hard bait. What is that? A Yozuri Pinsmino. Pinsmino. It looks like a little uh, jerk bait, actually. So, yeah, okay, well, that would definitely count. I like that. It's nice and small. Mm -hmm. So, at least it's a small profile little lure. So, that might, okay, that might work. So, we got our soft plastic hard bait. Next bait and the final bait can literally be anything. Except for a saltwater lure, because we've already talked about that, because we're not doing a saltwater lure challenge today. Okay. But we can do one. It's <laughs> a fish defunct wipes. Fish defunct. Fish wipes. Fish odor removal. So, do, are you trying to say that I need some yes, of these? you need some of them. Because I'm stinky when I come no, home from fishing? A little fishy. <laughs> <laughs> a little fishy. So one more lure, dear. Literally anything. Yeah. You know, this clearance section has really been kind of picked through. There's not a whole lot of stuff here. You got one on one. You looking at that sunfish? Yeah. Which one are you gonna go with? The small one or the big one? So now I've got to pick what color? color. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe you guys do the difference in these two fish. I mean, that looks that looks more bluegilly to me, but that one has a dot too. So yeah. of course, a bluegill I think is part of the sunfish family. So hell, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with this one. All right. So let me let us see that. So, okay, a little live target sunfish, a little topwater sunfish. Yeah. Okay, babe, so hold up all these selections. Let us see what we got going on here. So we got the missile, the missile baits D-bomb. We got the little pins minnow, which is like a little jerk bait. Then we got a little live target topwater sunfish. So these are your selections. These are my selections. Okay, all right, very good. All right, guys, Holly has obviously made her decisions. We did not rehearse this. This was not planned at all. This clearance rack was really light on lures, so we really had a very limited supply of options. But I'm going to get these three lures. I'm going to buy them. I'm going to go out to the local little fishing hole, see if I can complete this challenge like I did last time. But last time I got really lucky, so 
I'm not really feeling especially lucky today, but there's only one way to find out. Let's get out there. All right, boys, we made it out to the little fishing pond. Got my lures rigged up. Got the old missile bait D-bomb. Got the little Yozuri jerk bait and got the little live target sunfish. I think I'm gonna start with the sunfish, a little top water, just because it's still morning time and as you can see, it's a little, it's a little overcast. So that's what it looks like right there. It's just basically a top water frog, just a different shape. You know, it's a fish shape instead of a frog. It's got a nice little walking action though, not bad at all. I had not seen the water out here this calm in forever. Normally it's been windy lately, so I don't know, this might actually kind of screw up the top water but i wish it was just a little windy just enough where there was some chop on top of the water so i'm trying to fish this thing super slow and calm may have to come back to the old sunfish it's just so calm out here it's going to be tough to get a top water bite since it is so calm let's try to drag this little texas rigged missile baits d-bomb around it's a little Texas rig, a little lead weight, nothing fancy. I'm fishing it on Bray, but I do have a little bit of a leader out there, a fluoro leader. Try to keep it invisible since it is so calm. We're just going to drag this thing. The color of this thing is wild. I think it was called like Mardi Gras or something, wasn't it? Well, it looks like it. It looks like a Mardi Gras crawl. <laughs> Oh, something's got it. Here we go. First fish on the missile baits. Oh, D-bomb, stay on there. Stay on. Oh, that's a nice little bass, too. Yeah. One lure down. Ah. Nice, dark, healthy bass. Missed his eye, thank goodness. I'm very sentimental when it comes to my bass, guys. I never want to hurt them any more than I absolutely have to. So nice. Nice little dark bass. Man, he, there was no bite at all. I didn't feel a thump or anything. It was just all of a sudden reeled out my slack and it was moving. Thanks, buddy. He was feisty. Nice. Well, where did my D-bomb go? <laughs> it's gone. He must have got it. Nice. Well, I gotta be honest with you guys, you know, I figured that would probably be my easiest lure to check off. You know, I mean, it's a creature bait. You know, you don't have to do a whole lot with those. I mean, you can swim them, you can shake them, you can drag them, pop them off the bottom. You really can't fish them wrong. So, boom, so we do have a lure down. That's a relief. Been about, been out here for about 20 minutes with no bites. So it's nice to kind of get a lure checked off. Instead of going back to the top water, which would be the obvious way to go, I'm actually going to throw the jerk bait at the tiny jerk bait, which I don't even know if I can cast this thing. If there's one thing that I know nobody's throwing out here, it's a jerk bait because this is such a shallow pond with so much grass in it. There's no way that somebody's throwing a jerk bait. So I'm kind of counting on the fact that maybe they haven't seen a lure like this before. It does sink too, guys. So this is going to be, let's just get it out here and see. I'm just going to give it a, going to kind of pop it like a jerk bait, you know, try to keep it up in the water column since it is so shallow. Wow, that thing has a great action to it. I'm gonna catch a fish on this. I'm, 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 going, I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna catch a fish on this. I can tell by the way it looks in the water, how good it looks. The flash of it is so good. The profile is really small, so the bass aren't gonna be able to get a good look at it. This pop, pop, pause is gonna get them. You watch, this is gonna catch a fish. If I can keep it. Oh, there we go. There's one right there. <laughs> what did I tell you guys? Look at that. It's a freaking, hey, what is that, a crappy? It's a black crappy. Yes. Guys, what was I, did I call that one or what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> a multi-species fish. I will take it. I will take it. Guys, what was I just saying about this little jerk bait? I knew I was gonna catch a fish on this jerk bait. Nice. A little crappie on the jerk bait. Can you believe it? <laughs> Let me get a good release on this guy. Not a very big crappy, so we need him to go and grow. <laughs> he splashed me on the way out. Boom, guys, and just like that, my second cast with this. You know, once if I can complete this challenge, I may have to come back out here one day with this and just throw this thing. 
I'm telling you, this thing right here is the juice. Boom, we got our two lures down. Now we just have the little topwater sunfish, which when I started this challenge, I thought this would be maybe the easier lure to complete. But now it looks like it's gonna come down to me versus the topwater lure. Normally I would take that bet because I love fishing me some topwater, but it's just so calm out here, guys. It's just, I don't know. Well, because I'm so desperate, I'm gonna have to walk over to this really, really tiny pond over here, see if I can actually complete this challenge. I cannot believe I'm stuck on the little topwater sun, sunfish, but I am. All right, guys, here we are. Last ditch effort to complete this challenge and catch a bass on a little sunfish. Oh, something just hit it. You guys see that? Oh my goodness. Something hit it, but did, I mean, it was something tiny, didn't take it. That had to be like a little panfish or something, like pecking at it. Oh my goodness. Guys, this right here, this is the face of a defeated man. I cannot believe it. You guys watched it. You know, I normally only give myself one GoPro battery worth of time to complete these challenges and my GoPro's dead, so that means it's been about two hours. Can't believe it, guys. If you were to ask me which lure I was certain to catch a bass on, I would have said the topwater lure first, then the missile bait D-bomb, and then the jerk bait would be my least confident bait, but that just shows you how challenging these challenges really are, guys. Guys, you think you're a pretty good fisherman? Do something for me, I challenge you. Find somebody you know, could be your wife, husband, significant other, kids, parents, anybody that you know that doesn't know much about fishing. Take them to the store, take them to the fishing section and let them pick you out three lures and go out and catch fish on each and every one of them. Because let me tell you, I've done this a few times now and it seems like it gets harder each time. I have to really challenge myself. I have to get creative sometimes with my presentations and how I fish. But guys, we had so much fun today. Holly and I, big shout out to Holly for participating in this video. I know you guys love seeing Holly. I love doing anything with Holly. Now it's hard to get her to actually come out fishing with me. Maybe you guys can help me with that. Get in the comment section, give Holly some encouragement to actually go fishing with me for two hours. She has gone fishing with me a couple times, so I'm not gonna say she never does, but it's hard to get her to do it. But this was awesome challenge today, guys. It was awesome. I actually got the idea from you guys. A bunch of you guys were saying you wanted me to do this kind of challenge, but to do it in only the clearance section or the bargain bin or whatever the fishing section. So we did that. I had a great time, guys. Keep giving me those suggestions. I'm gonna keep reading them. 100% guaranteed, I will read your comment. And 99% guarantee I'll respond to it. Unless I get to the point where I'm getting so many comments, I just physically cannot respond to them all. I'm gonna respond to them. Guys, if you're new to this channel, there's a lot of new people coming to this channel every day. Welcome aboard. I am Lojo, the host of this show. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? It's just a little button right down here. It's free, doesn't cost you a dime. Turn the little bell notification on next to the subscribe button. That way you will stay up to date when I'm dropping three, four videos a week. Guys, I've said it before, I'll say it again. You guys are the best subscribers on YouTube. I do everything that I do for you guys. But this was a lot of fun, guys. I'm about to get out of here onto the next fishing adventure. Fist bump, I'm out.